Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to return it to Sapporo in Hokkaido in Japan and we're going to revisit a brewery who I have to admit I rate very very highly. So we're going to return it to North Island Beer and we're going to the other end of the spectrum with this one. I looked at their IPA before and this time we're going to the malty side of things and we're going to have a look at the stout. This was the one that Michiko actually tried when we were in North Island Beer Bar. You might have seen the video that I did there of the bar visit but for this one as I say we're going to have a look at the North Island Beer Stout. This one comes in at 5.5% and this is actually their best rated beer according to Rate Beer. It came in at 87 on Rate Beer when I checked it out. 330ml bottle so it should be pretty nice and I remember this one being a nice kind of sweet stout beer when I had a little sip of Michiko's one but very much looking forward to having a closer look at this one on the channel for you here. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website linked to my other reviews I've done from North Island Beer. That of course is the IPA and the Hatscap Blonde, which they did with me Keller. There's all the usual social media. Make sure you check that out. If you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in my Japanese beer reviews, go into the channel homepage and simply search Japan, they'll all pop up and of course you can check out Casey and Eric at Sotogami Akihabira on YouTube here as well. They've got a very nice channel dedicated to Japanese beer so make sure you check that out. They do some pretty awesome vids actually and you'll see my collaboration reviews with them fairly soon. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about North Island Beer as I've done before. So North Island Beer is brewed by SOC Brewing at their brewery in the suburbs of the city of Sapporo on Hokkaido in Japan. The North Island of course, hence why the brewery is called North Island Beer. But the brewery was founded by two beer loving friends who actually trained as brewers in Canada and they began brewing their beer in Higashiku in Sapporo City back in 2003 and they basically hoped to create a kind of popular Hokkaido craft beer based on the American craft beer boom that's been witnessed over the last 20 or 30 years I think it is now. But the brewery relocated to Ibetsu City in 2009 and they also opened up their own bar, Beer Bar North Island, which you saw my video of at some point hopefully. If you haven't, do check it out. But at any one time this bar has eight different beers on tap, usually it's two visiting beers and six of the regular ones. And um, they're actually pretty good. I would recommend that you check it out. But they also offer tours of the brewery in Ibetsu and they also let you actually participate in the brewing as well. So maybe the next time I go there, I can actually get involved in a brew with these guys too. But the current head brewer is Takeyu Tsutsumino and the other main man at the brewery is Kenta Dobashi. And he was the one that you saw in my video there. Kenta is a very, very nice guy. He sat and talked to me for a long time about his beer. Even though we were speaking kind of pidgin Japanese, he was very happy to sit and talk to me about his beer and hopefully you can find this beer outside of Japan at some point soon. I think it's very rare to find this beer even outside of Hokkaido actually but I've got every confidence in North Island beer that if these guys expand their beer will become pretty damn big. The beers are very very good quality so if you ever get the chance and you're in Sapporo make sure you go and visit North Island Beer Bar. These guys do some really really good stuff. So anyway, to t just to give you the other beers you can get from these guys, in the regular range you've got the Pilsner, the Brown Ale, the Weizen, this guy here, the Stout, also the IPA and the Coriander Black. There's also the Coriander White which appears every so often as well, but there's a lot of different beers listed on Rate Beer, so I guess there's quite a few different random things coming out of the brewery as well. So make sure you check out some of their beers, and like I say, do go and check out North Island Beer Bar. Very, very good beer bar. Nice little quirky place, as you would expect in Japan. But anyway, let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself. So like I mentioned to you, this one is a 5.5% stout. This was the one that Michiko actually had when we were in the bar. I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork there. I really like this one actually, the nice kind of gold and black on this one. This one's very, very nicely presented. The colour scheme on this is really nice, but you'll see this kind of snowflake pattern. This is the symbol of North Island beer. It says on this one, best served between 9 and 12 degrees, 5.5% 5%, ABV, plain bottle cap on this one. You can see on the back there, SOC beer. If you see this little symbol here, this is the shape of Hokkaido, like I mentioned, the Northern Island of Japan. And it says there, Biru. So yeah, it should be quite nice. One thing that's actually quite interesting about this brewery that I forgot to mention in the last video is the fact that it's not born from a sake brewery. 
there's many of the craft breweries in Japan are actually born out of uh, of sake breweries, and uh, North Island beer are one of the few who actually are not. So this makes this brewery pretty interesting to talk about actually because they're a pure sort of craft beer brewery. I've actually spilled a tiny little bit of this one as I've opened it up, so I'll need to clean that up after I finish the video. But yeah, this beer is poured exactly as you would have expected from the stout. There's quite a bit of carbonation sticking to the side of the glass on this one, as there was with the last beer that I did from these guys, but it's poured exactly as you would expect from a stout, a kind of pure black colour, almost kind of Coca-Cola black, I guess you could say. Not really transparent at all. If I put my fingers behind it, you can't see through it. Definitely an opaque colour. Half finger of a frothy, beige tan head on this one, but it looks very, very nice, exactly as you'd expect. A lot of small bubbles sticking to the side of the glass and some bigger ones heading up towards the bottom of the head too. But overall, it looks very, very nice. So let's have a little look at the aroma of this one and then we'll get stuck in. So with this one, it actually smells very toasted. It leans towards the black malt side of things. But I remember the flavour of this one in the beer bar actually being quite sweet. So that's quite an interesting point. So yeah, there's some nice chocolatey character in this one. There's a little bit of roasty kind of black malt character coming out. Some brown sugars in there as well, maybe some kind of nutty notes. I'm getting a little bit of almost the, the kind of German rye bread thing going on in this one. But definitely it leans towards the black kind of roasted malts in this one. A little bit of coffee, maybe some kind of toasted brown sugars, which is quite nice. Yeah, toasted, toasted brown sugars I think is fair to say. Some nice kind of nutty notes. And a bit of earthy hop too, there's a little bit of a kind of red, almost candied fruit ester coming out of this one, but that's very minimal. The, the main component of the aroma here is the toasted black malts, a little bit of the coffee and things. But yeah, overall, it's a very, very nice, kind of quite pleasant smelling stout actually. So just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this one before you actually get stuck into it. The nutty character actually starts to come out a little bit more as you sugar it up, I think and some nice earthy hop. So yeah, take a little bit of time and enjoy this before you get stuck in, but let's taste this beer now. So this is the Stout Beer, 5.5% ABV from North Island Beer from Ibetsu City, Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan. Let's get stuck in. Kanpai. Yeah, that's a pretty nice beer. It's kind of at the as I say, it's at the other end of the spectrum from the IP. I was very impressed with the IPA from these guys, and I'm surprised that the IPA isn't rated much higher than it is on Rate Beer, of course, because I think it's a very, very good beer. And this one, by comparison for me, is a very, very solid stout. It's definitely a very, very good stout. But for me, in terms of, in, in terms of the stouts that I've tried and the IPAs that I've tried, the IPA is more up there out of the best IPAs I've tried than the stout is I think but this is a very good beer don't get me wrong on that this one is very very nice on the stout scale sort of thing I would say this one kind of leans more towards it's it's somewhere in the middle it's kind of almost like a a kind of classic slightly English stout or a Scottish stout actually. It reminds me of some of the Scottish stouts that we have back home. It's got a good bit of malty bitterness to it but overall it's very very smooth. This one is a good blend of flavours. The other I, the IPA that they do like I mentioned is quite punchy in some of the aspects of the flavour but this one is at the other side of the, the brew scale I guess. This one is all about how the flavours blend together and that's where it shines. The flavours blend together really quite nicely in this beer. So yeah, as you'd expect with this one, it's much like the aroma. There's a kind of brown bready character in this one, a nice sort of, um, you see, a kind of rye breadiness. That goes right across the middle of the tongue there. You've also got some kind of cereally aspects that give you a bit of dryness to the middle of the malt base, but there's quite a bit of that toasted black malt in there and the sort of slightly coffee beanish bitterness. You can really get that in the middle of the palate and as you progress into the aftertaste, the beer does become a little bit dry. There's also some sweetness 
from some kind of toasted brown sugars in there. Overall, it's quite nice though. As you move into the aftertaste too, you get a little bit of nutty character. Not really a kind of vanilla thing. For me, it's more the breadiness and the cereal character and the nuttiness that's coming out of this beer. But like I say, the, the important point about this beer is how well the flavours blend together. The IPA is different because it's quite punchy. This one is a well blended beer rather than a punchy beer, I would say. Mm. But yeah, on the hoppy side of things, the sides of the palate are very, very smooth. It's a nice smooth earthiness to this beer. It gets a little bit drier around the front corner of the palate, but overall, it's a very smooth earthiness that you're getting out of this beer. Just behind the front curve of the tongue too, you get that little oily bubble and there is perhaps just a very small amount of a kind of candied red fruit ester. It always reminds me of these little Haribo heart shaped sweets that you get in the Star Mix. I'm not sure if you get that in Japan right enough, but it's just a kind of slightly candied, almost strawberry character that's in this one, but it's a very, very mild flavour. The focus of this beer is on the black malts, the slightly coffee-ish flavour, and also the kind of chocolatey sweetness that lingers in this one. It's a kind of mild, milky chocolate that's in this one. It kind of blankets the whole palate there, but I hadn't really mentioned that before actually. It starts to come out more as your palate just really adjusts to this beer. But overall, this is a very, very solid stout beer. No question about that at all. I can see why this one is quite highly rated. The quality in this beer is in the way that the flavours blend together. But yeah, very, very solid stout beer. No two doubts about that with this one. So in terms of the mouthfeel, I would say this is a mid-bodied beer. It feels a little bit lighter than it did on tap. This one, I would say, is better on tap than it is in the bottle. The IPA, I have to admit, I liked a bit better in the bottle than I did on tap, but for me, the stout beer is better on tap because of the thicker mouthfeel it has. It's a little bit creamy. You do get still get some of the creaminess in the bottle conditioned version compared to the tap beer, but it's quite creamy. The carbonation is quite smooth. The focus of this beer, as I say, is in, is in how well it blends together. You've got a nice smoothness to the hoppy character, a nice smoothness to the malt base too, and it just blends together very well. Overall, the beer is rather quite smooth. There's a little bit of dryness from the earthy hops at the back corner of the palate, and also some dryness from the uh, in the centre from some of the cereal aspects of the beer. A bit of sweetness from the malt, a bit of dryness from the hops, and you also have a little bit of juicy character just from that very mild fruitiness. But overall, this is another very, very good beer from North Island Beer. I said, Like I've said before, I would recommend that you try these beers if you come across them. They are a little bit hard to find, but if you find yourself in Hokkaido in Japan, seek out the North Island Beer Bar because their beers are pretty damn good. You know, as I say, the focus on this one is how well it blends together and the IPA is a nice big punchy American style IPA. So try these two, you'll see the two kind of extremes of their brewing if you like, and the other beers from what I hear are pretty damn good too. The prices at the bar are actually reasonable too. It's about 750 yen for a big five mil 500 milliliter pint if you like. So yeah, definitely go and try this one. This is a cool beer and I'm glad that I got to review it on the channel for you. So as always, thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below and let me know your favourites from this brewery. Always interested to hear from you guys that are watching the videos. But until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Make sure you check out my social media. But most importantly, make sure you go and try some of the North Island beers. These are some of the best craft beers that you're going to find in Japan. There's no two doubts about that. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, it's Slanja just now. I will catch you soon with more beer reviews. You'll be seeing some Okinawa beers coming up shortly after this one. Kampai.